Hello everyone, and welcome once again back to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, Sam's just told Nate the story. That, you know, he's got a... He owes uh, Alcazar some money. And uh, he's trying to... Oh, that's interesting. It's that Rafe guy. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years. Still hasn't turned up squat. That's interesting. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. God, really great similarity between the two. You could tell they're brothers, but you could also tell that... You look at them and you're like, oh my god, they're so related. But there's something definitely different about them. It kind of makes me wonder... It makes you wonder. I wonder what... Sam would have looked like in Uncharted, like, PS3 graphics, since obviously they kind of updated Nathan's look to look much more realistic, and holy crap, he looks realistic. Look at that. I can't unsee... Like, I remember when I first saw this, I was so impressed at how real they made Nate, and now you see this, and you're like, well, of course that's what he looks like, and you can't think otherwise of, like, anything else. At the Rossi. Oh, pretty good. Anyway, last time, for whatever reason, I started talking to you guys about Batman. Uh, <laughs> how I'm rewatching all the movies. And uh, I kind of wanted to keep doing that. So let's keep doing that. Um, but yeah, I, I've been watching all the films. Um, and uh, so Dark Knight Trilogy. You know, I started watching those. And um, it's such a weird trilogy. Because if you really go back and if you really watch the Dark Knight Trilogy, the first film... Batman Begins and the last film, The Dark Knight Rises. Oh no. Technically speaking, not a no, not man, good movies. Not, um entertaining, interesting, I, I yeah, but kind of technically not that good, good if you really break it down. The Dark Knight, pretty fucking good. Almost a near flawless uh, film. It's got some issues, like, but uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh Heath Ledger's uh, Joker, Hunter, fucking no, phenomenal. No, 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 yeah, I can't believe that movie is eight years old at this point. Like, I forget how old that film is, because I really feel like it came out just yesterday. It's going to celebrate its 10-year anniversary in two years. That is insane. Um, but yeah, Batman Begins, I have a lot of issues with it. Um, it's not necessarily a bad movie. It was the movie that needed to be made at that time. Uh, Warner Brothers was still kind of, like, choking on Dick uh, with um, Batman and Robin, and that was really the only... You know, they want to reboot, and Nolan decided, I'm going to make this, like, it's a very earnest movie. Um, I mean, it takes itself seriously. Seriously, the entire film, you know. Um, hey, hun, it's me. But it's still kind of a little bit... Uh, uh, listen, you're not going to believe this. I don't know. It has a very summer, blockbuster -y feel to it as well. It's kind of hard to explain, and it's got some flaws. There's some yeah. bullshit sewed in there where you're like... This plot doesn't... I don't know about this plot. This is kind of a little bit... Like, I think character development and the way it was conducted and acted and whatnot is of the highest quality, but there's elements of it that's like, uh By the way, that scene right there when Nate is, like, lying to Elena, the first time I saw that, I winced, and I went, oh, I... Li like, I never talk out loud when I play video games. Not a whole lot, but I, I out loud said, oh, dude, why'd you do that? Like, it, it was painful to watch. Um... Yeah, it was really painful to watch. Um, here now, uh, building behind the manor. You see from up there? Um, this is cool though. This is, I think, where the game really takes off. And might I add, we still haven't seen Nathan yet in his traditional, you know, jeans, t-shirt, um, you know, gun holster thing. We still haven't seen him yet in that. We saw him younger. We saw him in the prison garb because he was pretending to be a prisoner. We saw him with his oh look I'm at home clothes and now we see him with a, a like flight look a flight suit looking thing, which I don't that's, I guess to protect their tuxedo and you know the tuxedos. So very interesting. Sam, he knows the people running the auction. Anyway, but um yeah the uh, the Dark Knight however pretty much a near flawless film. I mean. Heath Ledger's Joker, amazing. Uh, everything about that film is really great. You could probably 
take away Victor we're talking about, right? yes, he's the, the, the superhero aspect and it would still be a really great movie on its own. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, a lot of issues. Went back to the like a little bit corny, a little bit hokey pokey um, with like Bane and a bunch of other stuff. Still a very entertaining movie. The IMAX scenes are beautiful, but there's some part you could just tell they just didn't have their heart into it at the end of it. So it's it's a pretty... It's not a, a flawless trilogy, but, it, you know, it definitely is a pretty decent trilogy. I think, you know, it tells a story and it's pretty goddamn definitive. And I love the ending of Dark Knight Rises. I thought that was so cool. Yeah, Sully, he's there. What is this, chapter five or six or something? He's trying to keep the ducks clean. He's like, fuck you, man. I'm opening it. <laughs> That's how I like it. You haven't been there, bro. Ah, chapter six. Okay, all right, let's jump in. Okay, we're well, not going this way. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you mean, with you. In Italy, Definitely huh? going this way. Yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, I know you don't have to jump here, but <laughs> where the fuck did he come from, by the way? I don't know why that looked funny to me. Um, oh, interesting to note, by the way, and I'm sure players who have played this game are familiar with this, but um, uh, main story campaign, uh, 1080p, as far as I know, uh, 30 frames per second. Um I think the the um I'm pretty sure I missed. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, it's, funny. It's, uh, it's all in the room. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's not bad. First second attempt. I love oh god, I love the rope mechanics in this game. We You see that? Oh, Let's climb on over. Oh, um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably the f my favorite parts of Uncharted are the climbing sequences. So, like, having such a refined version of it for what could potentially be the last game. Yeah. Definitely. Make make things really weird. There we go. Hey, let's switch places. What? Right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Oh, okay. So they okay, that makes sense. I thought maybe he tried to climb over me. Okay, here we go. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna watch um, Batman right. no versus Superman, shot. which oh good lord, that movie has so many fucking issues. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Like a lot of issues. That movie is a goddamn mess. If I was here trying to complain about The Dark Knight Rises having a mess, like oh. Man, that doesn't hold a fucking candle to the mess in a, in um, Batman vs Superman. Who boy, what a what a movie that could have been such a simple idea, and they just made it overly complicated. They made it so complicated for no reason other than a really half-ass world-building film. They tried to do what uh, Avengers did in like a whole phase of films. Like, what was it like six movies? Um, they tried to do it in, in one movie. I mean, it was insanely ridiculous. But whatever. I mean, that that ultimate cut, though. <laughs> no, really, the ultimate cut, I mean, it's still a bad movie. Like, do, it doesn't fix the main problems of the movie. But uh, it definitely, you know, helps it. I mean, if that's anything, you know? All those years. Let's go in here. Ah, look at this. Look, there's that window. Hochu. Oh, hold it. Here's how to repel. Fuck you. Right, come on No, I remember now. This is a part. Oh, let me... I have to talk about this, by the way. This is so cool. 
I love that you could just look out there and look at that. There's boats out there. And I don't know why. And look at that. And look, I know. If I were to find a way to glitch through the game and go there, it would probably... Nathan would look like a giant. It, would, it wouldn't It would look big. You know, the boats would be like little tiny boats. But for whatever reason, stuff like this I find so immersive. Like, I just think it's so cool that even though I can't approach that... Like, it just makes it, I don't know, it gives it a realistic but a mysterious edge to it, too. That that exists in the game's coding. I will never go there as the character, Nathan, but, like, it's there. Like, the developers built that to, like, give it more dimensions and stuff. I love that. And that's been around for a long time. That's been around since, you know, um, you know, like, fucking, oh, my God, like, N64, you know, like shit even to a certain extent the super nintendo and like you know um 16 bit machines like they've been around since then so it's just so cool to see um you know that you still get that feeling sometimes i love that i, I just i don't know if that makes any sense i don't know if i'm kind of like yapping on here and everyone's like well obviously it would be there chris i mean they need to showcase that it's a city but i just think it's really cool yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Climbing. Oh, this is so cool. I love climbing in this game. Okay, I have to wait for... For Sam I am. Come on, buddy. We should hook up there, dude. It'd suck if you missed right now. Yeah. It sure would. But I don't miss. Ha ha ha. I never miss. Hey, I gotta wait for him to climb. But again. God, I love that. Here, look. And, and you can even see a better thing. Like, look. See? Like, the boats. Some of the boats are out there. Look how they're floating in the water. Like, oh, God. I, I don't know why. It just gives... It gives it a really, like, epic feel to it. I don't know. I'm I'm easily impressed. I mean, and I think it's really cool in games like Grand Theft Auto where, you know, you're running around and, you know, you can g actually go there. You can take a plane, go over to, like, that thing you see in the background. That's that's a different kind of, like, wow kind of thing. This is uh, more of um just from a technical point of view. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know. Whatever. I just right. think it's really cool. Man, they look good in suits. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Oh, and this is so great. We get introduced to Sully. Hey, kid. Love Sully. You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. <sighs> oh, man. So cool. Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about Oh, that? shit. Let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot. Oh, what the fuck? A whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just... <laughs> Mike? That is typical Uncharted, uh, that something bad happens. Mike, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they uh, don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Ah, uh, wait, are they implying that Sully's been in jail? Well, I guess Sully would have been in jail. I mean, yeah. These are kind of thieves. I'm sure they've gotten caught at times. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Uh, 
And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. God, this really does feel like you're watching a film. I mean... Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? Oh, shit. The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. I always thought that was weird. A waiter wouldn't get noticed, and he just noticed a waiter. Break room. Kill the power. So. I'm the waiter. You're the best pickpocket. Hmm. You head down to the floor. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. Ah, the game plan. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. All right, and guys. We'll be back next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to cut it off here, guys. We're at the 15, 16-minute mark. But, uh, yeah, we will be back next week with some more Uncharted. And uh, we have a ton of awesome stuff happening this month. Um, Uncharted, we got some Super Mario World at one point we're going to play again. Uh, so, yeah, just tune in for all that. And um, I hope to see you guys uh, later this month. Take care, guys.